Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the conditional equations, which is another form of equations that are used and applied in economic analysis. If we try to highlight the uh, definition of conditional equation, we shall see that a certain requirement is to be satisfied in such kinds of equations. Because when you see the word condition, it means that there is a uh, kind of, uh, you know, a limitation uh, or a, a delimitation imposed in a certain situation. And that condition can be uh, uh, some sort of equilibrium condition, for example. Uh, as you can see, uh, if we are to specify an equilibrium, an equilibrium condition is to be established. So this is a common situation in, in, in economic analysis that we um, have to achieve equilibrium. May it be a microeconomic situation or a macroeconomic situation. We try to impose a condition that such, this variable is equal to that variable and that is definitely achieved with the help of equations. And how we can do that, it is uh, it's quite simple actually. Uh, we are taking two examples here uh, and these are uh, two examples of equilibrium condition. One is the uh, condition that says that quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. And in, in their notational form, QD is equal to QS. So this is the equilibrium condition that is extensively used in microeconomic analysis. So once we put, the, uh, put that into an equation form, it is uh, actually a conditional equation that is specifying the market equilibrium condition. Now let's consider the other example which is stemming from macroeconomics. It says that desired savings should be equal to the desired investments for the economy to be in equilibrium. Now this uh, equilibrium condition is symbolically written as S is equal to I. This is an example of uh, the conditional equations and this is in the uh, discussion of macroeconomics. So this is how the conditional equations help us to understand the various conditions in micro as well as macroeconomics. As you can see in this slide, we have plotted the first condition which is actually reflected at this point where the QD should be equal to QS. So the conditional equation is being imposed at this point which is the point of equilibrium. Another example of the conditional equation as we just saw was the equality of savings and investment. And you can see this is the saving curve and this is the investment curve that we have plotted in the Cartesian coordinate where the saving and investments they are plotted. Now their equality is achieved at this point which is the point of equilibrium and this depicts the conditional equation that we were just talking about. We can also talk about another example, which is uh, actually the optimization condition. Optimization is the process of maximizing the benefits or minimizing the costs. So uh, in our microeconomic analysis, when we uh, try to set a condition for the profit maximization of a firm, we say that marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. And that happens uh, in an equation form with this notation that is mc is equal to mr. So th this is yet another example of conditional equation that explains the optimization condition. In this diagram you can observe that at this point this conditional equation is applicable. The equality of mc and mr is diagrammatically achieved at this point but we can also write it using this equation and we can explain the whole phenomenon instead of making this diagram. It is quite concise and this is the gist of mathematical economics that it puts the things in a very concise way. 